Hello starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. We're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. If you wanna join my starlet squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I'm doing some makeup reviews here. Some of them are first impressions, some of them are not. This is an Urban Decay themed makeup review. I have been lucky enough to get on the Urban Decay PR list. So they have actually been sending me some really cool stuff, which I'm blown away by. So some of it I've kind of played around with, some of my haven't, and I also have a few Urban Decay products that are just staples in my everyday routine. So I thought I would kind of do a almost full face to Urban Decay makeup look and give you some first impression and just general reviews along the way. I'm getting ready to go out tonight. I'm doing a comedy show, which hopefully I'll be able to film and we'll show you some clips at the end of the video. So be sure you check that out. I don't actually know exactly what I'm doing for a makeup look today. I sort of like laid out all the products and I couldn't really figure out what I was gonna do. So I just figured I'm gonna jump in, get started and see what happens. I don't have an Urban Decay primer that I'm really in love with. So I'm gonna just start by priming my face with my usual primer, which is from Hourglass. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a point because I think I wanna do a dramatic eye because I've actually been sent like two eyeshadow palettes from them. And I still haven't actually played around with my Naked Heat palette yet. So if you wanna see a makeup look and review of the Naked Heat palette, leave a thumbs up. But I wanted to do the two most recent palettes that they sent me in this video today. So I think I'm gonna do a more dramatic look. So I'm going to make a point to do my eye makeup first. I'm gonna start out with, this was not something that was sent to me. This is my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion that I, I use in just about every video. I'm gonna put this on first and then I think I'm actually gonna do my concealer um, because I'm gonna test out a new Urban Decay product. I haven't seen these in store, so I, I'm guessing these are pretty brand new. They sent me all the shades and I've been going through trying to figure out which shade is right for me. These are the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealers. I have not tried the All Nighter Foundation. The packaging on these is like, I mean, this is some fancy packaging for a concealer, I, I have to say. Waterproof, it says full coverage. So I've done a lot of concealer reviews and I am 100% obsessed with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, so. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that what I do is I use more of sort of a warmer peachy shade of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer as a color corrector and use more of like a neutral shade that goes with my skin tone as my under eye concealer. I don't like to use one that's too light because I just, I don't like the effect that has under my eyes. I know some people really like to go with a super light concealer to like highlight under their eyes. For some reason on me that, I feel like it looks funny on me. I think it can look great on other people, just not on me. So I tried to match those concealers with the all nighters and it was hard to find an exact shade match that I liked, but I'm gonna go with the, they sent me like a swatch chart for these and I don't find the colors are matching up with the swatches. And these shades at the bottom, definitely not matching up with the colors. So I don't know how well this is gonna work. Um, but I'm gonna use the shade medium light warm for my color correcting. And I might regret this cause it's not as peachy as my NARS, but um, I'm gonna try it anyway. And I'm gonna sort of use it just, just where my dark circles are getting coverage <laughs> it's a little bit more yellowy so this might have been a, a really dumb move but I'll do the rest of my makeup and see how it works all right I am going to try the shade light neutral for my concealer shade I know it says to use just very very little and I may have gone a little bit too heavy it's a little bit too dark for me Okay, I'm gonna try putting the Fair Neutral shade over this, because this one looked a little bit too light when I swatched it, but maybe layered with the darker shade. I know some people mix their concealers. I don't, I feel like, I don't know. This is like getting to be way too much under my eyes. And again, I know, I know I'm gonna get comments saying that I went way too heavy on this, but. All right, so, so far, this is giving me some pretty intense coverage. We'll have to see the longevity and if it creases or anything like that as the day goes on. And I usually do this after foundation, but I didn't put my foundation on yet. Um, my first instinct is it feels kind of heavy. Again, I know I went heavier with it and I layered it to get the right color, but I don't know, this is my first instinct, is it feels a little bit heavy and I'm not in love with the shade range. First of all, there's nothing in the shade range that's cool toned. Everything is either labeled as neutral or warm. So that 
threw me off a little bit and so yeah i think with layering it but i'm i'm not somebody i don't have the patience to layer my i mean i obviously i'd layer like a color corrector and a concealer but if i have to do a color corrector and mix two concealers together i don't know I, i'm hmm. i'm not saying i don't like it i'm just saying it's not blowing me away is something that i think i'm going to use a lot okay now the two palettes i received this is i believe considered the heavy metals like the holiday collection one which the packaging is super cool. I mean, it's this gorgeous, shiny purple color. I like palettes that lift up. I'm old school like that. This one slides out, which is kind of cool, but like it slides all the way out. It has a mirror in the middle. I, I like that it's unique. It's interesting. And it also, like it slides together and it looks like it's kind of got this like bunching. Like I think it's pretty. It's very, very pretty. I'm not so much for the sliding. I'm a little bit more old school. I like to kind of open mine up. It's got basically all of these like metallic shades just about every metallic shade you could possibly desire i have played around a little bit with that palette already and then i was also sent this urban decay distortion eyeshadow palette which is basically supposed to be like holographic shades this one is a little bit more traditional it's got like the holograph in the front you lift it up and you've got the mirror in here nice big mirror and then you have these apparently are holographic shades so you can layer them thing i like about these palettes is, is that they've got some really cool unique colors in them i like you've got a ton of really nice metallic shades in here and i mean i think these holographic shades are really cool i believe in this holographic it looks like the black shade is the only matte shade in the palette and there's no matte shades in this one so neither one of these for me is ever going to be a complete palette and i'm kind of lazy in the sense that i don't like switching around palettes in general so i like having all of my shades in one palette having like your neutrals and your shimmers and your everything all kind of coordinated in one palette for me personally for me i don't see myself reaching for these palettes all that often maybe for special occasions but I also find that on special occasions, I tend to just go with amped up versions of what I do every day because that's what I'm familiar with. So again, I think these are really cool. I just, I don't see myself getting a lot of use out of any of these, but you know, I'm gonna play around with them and see what I can come up with for an eye look and we'll see what we can do. I think I'm just gonna break out my Naked Smoky palette because I wanna go with like a really intense smoky eye. I'm gonna go in with the shade 13, which is really just really just sort of a, a neutral shade and just dust over the eye because I'm basically just setting my primer and making a nice little base for my eye look here. And then I'm gonna go in uh, with the shade Password, which is basically this very cool gray neutral shade. And I'm just gonna go in and find my crease just just to start off my makeup because I just feel like this gives me a base for everything and I can build from there. I'm gonna go in with my new distortion palette and I'm gonna try the black shade because I'm gonna go smoky. And this looks matte when I actually uh, look up at it. The rest of them look like they have a sort of a shimmer. I'm sure it's the holographic shade. I'm just not sure the black is meant to be. It says blackout, so I'm assuming that it's a matte shade. I'm gonna kind of treat it almost like I would a crease shade. I usually blend when I'm all done, but for some reason I'm feeling like with a smoky look like this, I wanna blend in stages so I don't end up with a big mess. I'm feeling like I wanna put shag right here, which looks like it's kind of like a silvery steel color. On the inside here yeah I'm definitely seeing some holographic when you see it go over the black next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my heavy metals palette and I'm gonna do the shade up here which is hard to read in this lighting ground which is basically this very very dark sort of gunmetal shade and I'm gonna go in the center Going with shag again and then just sort of just sort of blend the two together. Blend this together. I'm gonna just sort of set my concealer a little bit. And then with a liner brush, I'm gonna go back into the shade blackout, the very dark shade. And this is where I'm basically just going to uh, line my lid with some shadow. I'm gonna go under the eye too, very lightly. I find powder, if you do it carefully and with a finer point, 
it's just a softer look under the eye. I get less of that harsh line if I were to line it with a pencil. And I think I just got powder in my eye. But this is my smoky look. Now, another thing that Urban Decay sent me, uh, which I was lucky enough to get, uh, is the this collection of glitter eyeliners. And I don't really get much use out of glitter eyeliners, but I decided to play around with it as almost like an all-over shadow glitter. I tried it with actually kind of a champagne goldy glitter um, like a week ago when I first got this. I tried filming it, but my lighting was terrible. So it didn't come out all that well. So I decided maybe I would try it again. I was really surprised when I tried it before at how well it held up. I'm usually very leery about glitter near my eyes just because it gets in your eyes and it's a pain and you know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna go in with the silver glitter liner, which is Glam Rock. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of dot it on the eye and then I'm gonna kind of just pat it around with my fingers. And we're gonna see how this holds up. So another thing I was lucky enough to get from Urban Decay, I told you I've been really lucky, I've been getting some really cool stuff, is the Urban Decay Troublemaker. Super fat, super long, sweat-proof mascara. 15.7 times the lash volume. It's the 0.7 that really matters. I feel like those numbers are very arbitrary. I mean, maybe there's a science behind them, I don't know, but the average person is not gonna have any clue if it's like exactly 13 or whatever amount more. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try not to get any glitter in my eye while I curl my lashes. And it's gonna be hard to really see because again, I have such dramatic eye makeup on. Um, this wand looks really spiky and it's scaring me a little bit. So uh, let's see how we do. Okay. On, no, okay. I can get it here. It's actually, it's not too bad. It's nice. I like it. I think my first impression of the mascara is I like it, but I don't know if I'm in love with it. But I am extremely picky about mascaras. Like, I really just want them to make my lashes look long and keep them curled. And they are feeling like they're drooping. You know, not terribly, but I'm just gonna kinda hit the bottom lashes a little bit. The wand is quite spiky and I haven't stabbed myself, which is a good sign. Not bad. And I think if, I mean, I'll have to try it again at some point without all this extra makeup on and I'll check and see how well it holds up throughout the night. All right, so foundation, I thought I would use my favorite Urban Decay foundation, which is the only powder foundation I actually enjoy. It is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. I'm in the shade Fair Cool. Uh, this I purchased with my own money when I was testing powder foundation, so I already primed my face, so I'm basically just gonna go over this. I thought I would skip ahead and do my lips. I'm actually gonna start my lips with a lip liner. It's just uh, my MAC Soar, which is my go-to lip liner. And I actually received, uh, along with the Heavy Metals palette and the glitter shadows, I received the Urban Decay Vice lipstick palette. The packaging is amazing. I mean, it's very cool. Um, you open up the palette and you flip it open here. It actually came with a, where did it go? It came with a lip liner brush in the palette. Cool range of shades. You have your more matte shades down here and then you have shimmers up here. I'm not in love with a lipstick palette in general. I mostly wear liquid lipsticks now and I'm not really much for applying one with a, um, a lip brush and but I could see this being really cool for travel. Uh, you know, if you want to have like a variety of shades, this is a, you know, a great variety of shades. You know, you've got your reds, your purples, your pinks, your neutrals, your dark berries. I mean, it's a great range of shades. I just don't, I wouldn't see myself running on buying this. But again, if you travel a lot and you want a nice variety of shades, or if you're just somebody who really likes vice lipsticks and wants to have a variety at your fingertips, you know, I mean, if you're won over by the idea of, of a lip, stick palette, then I think it's a really cool idea. I just don't really see myself reaching for a lipstick palette. I think for this look, because I have such dramatic eyes, I'm gonna go more with a neutral lip. So I'm gonna go with the shade, which is a little bit more of a pinky neutral, it looks like, in the shade Back Talk. And I'm going to, okay. <laughs> the, these, these palettes are very soft. I just touched the brush to it and it just like dug right into it. So these shades are quite soft. It's, it's nice and creamy, I, I definitely have to say. And I have tried Vice lipsticks before and I do like them. I like the shade. It's like, it's neutral, but it does have a slight hint of pink, which is great for a cool tone girl. So the shade is really nice. So yeah, this is my makeup look. 
Um, I'd be interested to see how the shadow holds up. I played around with the heavy metals palette and with the putting the glitter on like a shadow. I played around with that before and it held up really well. So I'd be interested to see with something this dark and dramatic and where I'm going to have it on longer. The weather's pretty <laughs> eh outside. So I'd be interested to see how it holds up under like harsher circumstances than last time but, you know as it is right now i mean i i like the effect i got from it i think it's this really cool dramatic smoky kind of look so yeah i'm gonna wear this i'm gonna try some pictures get ready to go out and i'll try to check in with you guys later and let you guys know what i think of it how it holds up throughout the day uh food addicts don't get the same respect that other addicts do because like people will still give you food as a gift <laughs> they totally will, even if they know you have a problem. Like, no one is ever going to show up at your door and be like, well, it wouldn't be Christmas without a little crack. <laughs> <laughs> is somebody not breathing? Is <laughs> I'm flattered, but, you know, I just, you know, it's all right. Stress eat, which is a big problem for me. Like, like, I have a friend who, at the end of a long, hard day, will say things like, oh, my God. I made vodka. Mm -hmm. Like, preferably as a French martini, but if you have any weed, I'll totally get baked. <laughs> I say things at the end of a long, hard day like, oh my god, I need potato. <laughs> yeah. Like, preferably as French fries, but if you have any sour cream, I'll totally get baked. <laughs> yeah. And I don't smoke weed, uh, and that is not a judgment against anyone that does. I just don't need to personally, um, because I'm naturally really paranoid and I'm always hungry. <laughs> hey guys, so I am back from my show. It is super late. I drove into the city to do my comedy show. Yeah, I was in Cambridge. Really, really fun show. I'm going to give you a final makeup update. As far as the concealer, I don't know. I think it looks a little creepy. And it wasn't... I don't know, I wasn't in love with the shade. Overall, I don't think it's a bad concealer. I think it's great coverage. It's not beating my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's just not. Like, this is... It's not winning me over. I think it has some good aspects to it, but I'm just not blown away. Packaging is amazing. Uh, I'm not in love with the shade range. A little bit too dry looking for me, I guess. Like, the Radiant Creamy Concealer, it gives me, like, coverage but radiance. And this just isn't doing that not because i think it's bad i think it's just it's not what i'm used to and it's not what works for me the lip color uh this is not actually the original lip color the original lip color had started to fade because i had something to eat before i left for the show and i knew that i was going to be like having dinner before the show and stuff and i needed something that was longer wearing so i actually wiped off the original lipstick and then i put on a liquid lipstick and then i actually put that same shade from the lip palette over it and that's actually something I've been really loving doing is putting on a liquid lipstick that's matte that I know is going to be long lasting and then putting a creamier lipstick over it. That will fade but it lasts a little bit longer because it has the matte lipstick underneath it and I can just touch up the lipstick over it. So I get like the long lasting quality of the liquid lipstick but I get sort of the creaminess of the regular lipstick. It's not going to be transfer proof, but it's going to be longer wearing. So I actually think in that situation, a palette like that could be good because, you know, it's basically, I'm just sort of using it as like a liquid lipstick topper. So yeah, I think I might do that with some of the other shades and just kind of see how I like it because I do like the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I just don't know in general if I would use a lipstick palette in general like it's not something i think i would go out and buy but i think now that i have it i could see myself playing around with it as far as the mascara i mean i think it's good it's not blowing me away i i think i might try it at some point with less eye makeup on to kind of see it on its own i don't think it's bad i think it's really good if keeping your lashes curled is not a priority for you could be a good option it's just my lashes did droop a little bit, not as much as others, so I don't hate it. I didn't really see any flaking, and it was actually raining a lot. It's been a long day. It's been a long night. I've been out in the rain, and it did hold up really well, so I will give it that. And the eyeshadow, I have to say, 
Uh, I mean, again, I used shadows from two different palettes. I think that both of these palettes, the heavy metals and the distortion, distortion. I actually, they they definitely live up to the Urban Decay eyeshadow quality, which is Urban Decay shadows are some of my absolute favorite shadows. So definitely like those. Not necessarily going to be for everybody, and they're not super versatile if you're not someone who's really into playing with a lot of like colors and stuff. I think if you want like a good basics palette, you probably want to invest in one of the naked palettes. But uh, for fun shades, I mean, this held up really well, I have to say. Like for a smoky eye, and it hasn't gotten <laughs> too overly smoky, and it's been like, I mean, I've been out in the rain, I you know, have been out in the city and walking around and doing a show under bright lights and stuff and this has held up really well. The same thing with the glitter. I don't know if I would see myself using the glitter liners as a liner. I might try it sometime, but I, I don't see myself doing that necessarily. But using it dotted on like a glitter shadow, because I know that there are sort of like shadow glues and loose glitters and stuff like that, but that to me is too time consuming. I actually think I really like these glitter liners for like just adding a little bit of glitter to your shadow. Hopefully I'll be able to take this off without actually like completely destroying my eyeballs with glitter, but I have to say this is the second time I've used the glitter on my lid as like sort of a glittery shadow cover and both times it's held up really well and I did two totally different looks. This is a darker smoky. I did more of like a more nude neutral with like a gold glitter over it and it held up really well. So overall, I got to say the glitter liners, um, the eyeshadows definitely on point. Uh, the mascara, I'm a little on the fence on. The lip palette, I could see it being useful and I could see myself using it a little bit more. Kind of a nice to have. Um, the concealer, not terrible, but just not really for me. Um, so yeah, I think that was everything. So I want to know what you guys think if you have tried any of these Urban Decay products. I want to know what you think of them or, you know what? Below, leave your favorite Urban Decay makeup products. I want to know what it is. Maybe I've tried it, maybe I haven't. Maybe I'll do a review on it. You never know. If there's any other products you'd like to see me review, let me know. Leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Love to hear from you, and I love your suggestions. I am super, super close to 10,000 subscribers, and I'm going to do a huge giveaway when I reach 10,000 subscribers, so be sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. A while back, I was suffering from anxiety and depression, and I truly believe that beauty and makeup and health and fitness and taking care of myself saved my life and I believe it can save yours too. So if you wanna join my Starlet Squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all my social media channels. The links will all be in the description box below, along with links to all these products. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.